setting the UCS to a face of a 3D solid. I'm going to go up into my coordinates panel. In the coordinates panel at the very bottom, I'm going to click on this down arrow. Down here, I have the face option. I click on the face. I come over and I can hover on any face that I'm interested in. It'll work on any face or solid or mesh. And I click on the particular face that I'm interested in. Then it'll say, hey, uh, do you want to accept this uh, face? So I'll say accept at this point. Notice how it grabbed it right onto that face where I selected. Let's do that again. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go to face and I'm going to select on this particular face. And I'll just select and I'll say where do you want to accept it? And notice it's it, right everywhere I selected the face. It's not, um, it's not the most accurate. Um, we have a couple options in here though. When I go to face and I say I want to select an option here and I, I grab onto this spot I'll say wait a minute I want to go to next. When I go to next it's going to flip it to the next face and say oh did you mean the green one or the red one? I'll say next it went to the next face that it can find. Oh, did you want the red one or the cyan? I'll say next. It'll go flip back and forth. And uh, we can say, oh, okay. Um, I want the next one. All right. And then I also have an X flip. And so I can flip the direction of the X um, out of the way here. So I can flip the X and the X flips around. I can also flip the Y and the Y flips around. So I can go around and flipping the X and the Y to whatever position I need. When I'm ready, I can say accept. So I'll come down here and I'll click on the face. I'll come down here and select the face. Let's say here. And I'll say, oh, where do you, you know, I'll say, well, I wanted the next one. That's the one I wanted. Now, I can say, let's flip the X. See how the X is pointed uh, off to the upper right? I'll say, I'll flip that. And now I flipped it around the X. And I can say, well, I can flip it again. And now it's flipped down. So I can just keep flipping that thing around if I want. And I can get it to where I want the X to flip to. And uh, so I'll say, oh, uh, okay. I can go with now I can flip my Y. So notice I can flip my Y around. I can flip my Y and I can flip my Y again. So I can flip those things around when I'm done I can say accept. But notice it does grab on to where I select on the face. So a lot of times you might have to move the origin at some point. So it's kind of good in some regards that it will get you to the face you want and you can rotate it around and get the plane rotated the way you wanted it but it doesn't always grab on to the to the origin that well you might have to do some other operations like you know click on it and say I want to move the origin only for example and that will help out but I kinda like the, the face command because you typically do work on faces so you need to get it to a face command but it's kind of not the most friendly in some regards.